Hey guys, so we got done with our first big safari. Baba's playing with his toys. I just set him up. And hubby is on the other side of the tent. And yeah, it was it was really awesome. I mean, I I thought it was good. Um, but we're going to have to change. They gave us the open van, which is really good for adults who good for pictures. But because we have Baba, I prefer the, the vans that have the windows. So Samson, our tour guide, is gonna change that. But he did okay, and I had him in three layers. Um, I had him in his uh, blanket onesie, and then I also had him in in his um, you know sleep jacket and then on top of that I had like a blanket um, and then I also had the Maasai blanket on top of it the only thing I didn't do that I regret not doing is that I didn't put a hat on him and I brought those hats because I'd watched a lot of YouTube videos that um, talked about that but I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna put him in his full um, winter uh, jacket and then I think if I'm not mistaken, I brought some hats. I'm gonna make sure that I put, put the hats on here so that he can wear them, so. That's, oh yeah, here we go. So this is what I mean. So usually just bundle them up real good and, um, and I think it should be okay. And I knew I had the hats, I just, it was morning and I forgot, but lessons learned for first safari. The reason why we like the safari in the morning um, at 6.30 is because we can then spend the rest of the day with Baba hanging out and I can relax and unwind. We can also enjoy a good lunch and maybe enjoy some of the other activities. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. So, yeah, that's a little bit about what's going on. Yay. <laughs> Say hi, Baba. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, so I would do dinner outside because it's absolutely beautiful, but because of the baby and it's cold, we are probably just going to have to do dinner inside. So it's the first time I'm actually doing dinner because yesterday I was exhausted with the baby and everything. And so I'm excited to kind of see what dinner looks like. So what I'm going to do is probably just feed Baba really quickly because now his baby weaning so he can actually have some of the food and then um, I'm going to take him to bed and let hubby enjoy um, the food at least so yeah so this is really beautiful I'm gonna kind of show you guys how it looks like um, but look at that guys that's so awesome and then they have like the Boma restaurant which is really cool where they do like a special barbecue. Um, yeah, so Belmar is definitely the place to go, particularly if you have a family. Um, yeah, so as you guys have seen, it's glam, glamping in a way. Um, we had a personal attendant, Anand, and Anand actually removed a lizard that was found its way. But every evening they put in hot water pots so we could have a warm night together. Um, you know, because it gets cold in the Mara, even though the temperatures are really high during the day. Um, so it's, it's pretty, it's interesting. Yeah, so that's where we are. So I'm gonna take in the evening. And just kind of look and see. Baba and I may take a look at some hippos. We'll wait for them to serve dinner. And uh, oh my gosh, there's some great hippos down here. Um, see if you guys can see them. I'm going to turn the camera. Uh, look at the hippos in the water there, the Mara River. Yeah. Uh. Yes, Baba. Like, what's going on? Yeah. 
So guys, we have some hippos down there. You guys can see them. So Baba's enjoying that, so that's pretty cool. As you guys can tell from the noise and commotion, it's a child-friendly camp at the Masai Mara. Very conducive for the children, which is absolutely wonderful. Hey, Papa, you trying to get to your chicken pot pie. Lakini meona leo nitakuja rakaraka, nikule. Yeah. 